All right, YouTube, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So there's a couple sites that I wanna recommend for this, and uh, this one goes without saying, but this is probably one of my favorite sites when it comes to team building. Um, by the way, this is gonna be really helpful. Um, if you want to do it for singles or doubles, it really doesn't matter. You know, if you're playing the singles ladder, uh, Smogano U, or if you're playing uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl VGC, um, you can pretty much use these resources the same way, and it should get you uh, the same results. But um, let's say you want to build a team around your favorite Pokemon for the Battle Tower. Um, you can pretty much do this with any Pokemon you like. Um, you can really just build a competitive team around any Pokemon. So the first thing we want to start is uh, you want to pick a Pokemon that you want to build around, right? So. Um, in this case, you want to go to the Celebi website, and then when you click on a Pokemon, if you click on their type right here, it'll give you the different types, and then it'll list all the Pokemon available for that generation. For this, uh, in this case, it's Generation 8. I want to pick, um, a Water Starter, and, uh, it's going to be for Alligator. Uh, we want to build around for Alligator, because he's a Pokemon that's not, um, available in Sword and Shield, right? So we're going to build around for Alligator. I'm going to go ahead and type that in into the uh, team builder. By the way, the links are in the description down below. If you want to go, you know, go ahead and check out these uh, websites that I'm going to be using, which is going to be the Maryland team builder, the Picolytics website, and Cerebi, of course, one of the more popular resources. But So let's go ahead and get started here with Bro Alligator. We're going to type that in, and then you're going to see down here there's a chart. And basically this chart gives you resistances, weaknesses, all in one, and it gives you... Uh, kind of like a summary towards here at the right and uh, you're, you're gonna be able to see uh, Collectively once you enter all the Pokemon in there you're, you're gonna be able to see if you have multiple weaknesses for something So what this does is it really just creates a team that allows you to switch in and out a lot and um, If you're at a type disadvantage or anything like that because the battle tower it is gonna <laughs> cheat a little bit It's gonna try to throw things that your team cannot handle right so you want to build a balanced team and you also want your team to have um, variety with their attacks, right? You want physical and special split in half if you can, three and three. And then you also want to bring um, just a, an ample move pull, right? For example, for Alligator is a good choice because it has water, ice, and ground moves. And then it can also set up, right? So if you can just get a Dragon Dance off, um, it's really, really powerful and can run away with games. So. We want to support the for alligator, and uh, one of the biggest problems against for alligator is it's not very fast, and it's weak to electric, right? So, what better than to support it with a lightning rod Pokemon? And we can use Manectric here. Okay, so once you type in Manectric, it's also going to give you the option to select the ability. So by typing in the lightning rod ability here, it'll give you the immunity to uh, electric right here. You see that? So basically, that shores up that, that weakness uh, for, for Alligator, um, allowing it to really uh, Dragon Dance set up and then Earthquake those same electric Pokemon and even outspeed them. Um, and then the combination of Water, Ground, and Ice uh, for its move pull really just allow it to not be walled by anything, right? So that's really important. So that's why we're kind of building around for Alligator, but you can do this around your own Pokemon. Um, it can be Azumarill, it can be, I don't know, uh, Gyarados, wh whichever Pokemon you prefer. It's no big deal. Uh, but you'll see here, right, we have total weaknesses, we have three weaknesses. We have one weakness to ground with a Manectric, and then two weaknesses to Electric and Grass for the for Alligator. But we have a lot of resistances, right, so this is really just rounding out the team pretty nicely. Um, I also want a grass type with Rage Powder to redirect stuff away from Bra Alligator just in case I need to. Um, so we're going to go with Tangrowth. And that's uh, also another Pokemon that wasn't available in Sword and Shield. So um, as you can tell, I'm really just building around Pokemon that are not available in Sword and Shield. Um, actually, you know what? Tangrowth is available, but it's not quite as good as uh, Amoongus, right? So <laughs> we're going to use Tangrowth this time with Rage Powder. So it's probably the best Rage Powder user um, currently in, in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl because there is just such a lack of Pokemon in that game. Um, but there you go. See, we have a ton of resistances now to water, electric, grass, uh, to ground even. So that's really good. Um, so I really want the ability to be able to switch out of um, an electric, uh, something that can take a ground attack, which would probably be a flying type that would be immune to ground, right? So it's always good to have something in the back. 
Um, so in this case, uh, let's check out the Cerebi website, and then we're going to click the flying button over here. It's going to filter out all the flying Pokemon that are available, and let's go to the bottom to see the newer stuff. Oh, Generation 4, okay, we got Salamence as a good option, Staraptor has Intimidate, it, it could be a good choice here as well. Uh, maybe even Driftblim can do some damage. Uh, ooh, Togekiss. Togekiss with Follow Me also could help the Feraligator set up. That could be really, really strong. And then, um, uh, could also help it break through Steel types with Fire moves like Flamethrower. Uh, I think Togekiss actually makes a lot of sense here. And then it has a lot of synergy with the Manectric as well with the Lightning Rod, right? So, uh, actually Togekiss plugs in here pretty nicely and you'll see how we have so much resistances now look at all these water resists uh, we got electric resists on the Tangrowth and immunity on the Manectric right so you're starting to see how the team comes together and you see like a group and like a combination of all your resistances and weaknesses grouped up at the end in the summary so that's actually really really good um, so we're about we, we pretty much have like our, our like our core of four, right? In, in doubles, you're gonna bring um, four Pokemon, right? Two in the front, two in the back, and then you can switch out, switch in and out. Um, so it's really good. Um, we have to think about move coverage, right? Does this have any difficulties with anything in particular? Does it get walled by anything? Um, remember what I said about physical and special attackers? We have a lot of... We have three... Um, no, two special attackers and two physical attackers. Tangrowth can be a physical attacker. Um, you want to check the Picolytics website, and then you want to switch this over to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Battle Festival Doubles. And then here you can type in the Pokemon that you're looking for, and it'll give you the recommended set, or the most popular set, right? So you can look at the moves, you can look at the items that are being used with that Pokemon, you can look at abilities, EV spreads, um, so it's really, really helpful. Um, let me switch this over to light mode, because it's in dark mode. There we go, it's a little bit better to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tangrowth can get the uh, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, but it can also knock off, and it can also power whip, right? So its attack is uh, base 100, and it could also help it break through the Gastrodon, right? Gastrodon, um, a lot of the water types are specially defensive, um, so by maybe opting in for some physical attacks, it allows Tangrowth to really break through those Pokemon, and it also gives you diversity when attacking, right? So for example, if you run into a Chansey, you can actually knock it out with a knockoff or a Power Whip, right? So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, definitely we want to run Rage Powder, we want to run Protect, and Sleep Powder for sure makes a lot of sense as well. It's a really, really strong move. If you can Protect, put something to sleep, and then Dragon Dance, and then just run away with the game, basically. So. We're going to go ahead and go with Rage Powder, Protect, Sleep Powder, and Power Whip, I think. Does it get Power Whip? Let's check. So another thing you can do, um, when you find the Pokemon that you're looking for uh, on the Cerebi website... Uh, here, we'll click Tangrowth, where is it? Or Another option would be Breloom with Spore, um, but I think Breloom doesn't support it as well, because it doesn't have redirection, right? So. Uh, here is, where is it? Oh, here's Tangrowth. Um, Regenerator for sure for switching out. Um, super great ability. And it does get Power Whip. Okay, I see it right here. Power Whip at level 48, 120 base power. Yeah, um, I was thinking about either running um, Knock Off or, or Power Whip, but I think Power Whip just makes so much sense because it gives you the one hit KO threat onto a lot of water types like Gastronom, like Azumarill like Milotic, um, let's see what else, uh, I think that's all the water types, oh, not a lot, oh, Rotom, Rotom Wash is another especially defensive Pokemon, as you can see here on the set, um, it's mostly HP special defense right here, see, so yeah, um, Ludic, oh, against Rain as well, Politoed, Ludicolo, those are more especially defensive, yeah, so definitely want to run physical Tangrowth, and then the set for Tangrowth, let's see what it looks like. The EV spread looks like uh, especially defensive with a point in special attack, but we can switch that point over to special defense. So it'll be max HP, max special defense, just so it can tank attacks all day. 
and um, yeah, yeah, pretty straightforward, super um, great support Pokemon that you can run with other water types, like uh, Azumarill is a variation that you can run it with. Um, in, in fact, in this set right here, you can actually just replace for Alligator with Azumarill, and then you can add a Steel type, and then you would have the popular core of Dragon Fairy Steel. That's a really, really good core that allows you to switch in and out because of the immunities and resistances that they uh, share among each other. Alright, <clears throat> and we have two slots for two Pokemon. Um, we definitely want to add a fire type. And I think, let's see what fire types are popular. Okay, Arcanine. Arcanine's great. Intimidate support is really good. And then it has uh, Snarl. You can also run Entei. Entei's also really good. Entei with Inner Focus is really strong right now. But you can't fake it out. Um, you can't intimidate it. Um, so it's immune to intimidate. Um, so it's just always hitting with max attack, right? So it's really, really strong. You can't burn it, which is uh, because it's a fire type, right? So uh, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Snarl, and Protect, really, really strong. It completely walls Sun Teams as well. And Snarl just lets it sit there and just, um, you know, d decrease the special attack of a lot of special attackers in the format, like Cresselia and uh, <clears throat> the, the Rain users as well. Interesting, they're running Psych Up on, on Entei. I didn't think that'd be a thing, but I guess you run it with, like, Belly Drum Azumarill? I don't know. You could do really cool things with Psych Up, though, if you're Dragon Dancing with the Browligator, and then you just copy those boosts onto the Entei, and then just uh, <laughs> demolish teams with it. So, uh, yeah, let's plug in. I'm torn between Arcanine and Entei. I think Arcanine with the Intimidate and the Snarl as well. They have the same base speed. Um, but just see the intimidate support for the um, for the sweepers, right? For for alligator, um, it's really really good. Um, and then you can also volt switch um, electric fast volt switch out into Arcanine, so you can just reposition really nicely. So let's do that. Okay, so uh, Arcanine, we'll go ahead and plug in no ability. Otherwise, if you plug in flush uh, flash fire, it'll uh, give you the fire immunity, which we don't want. But it's still just a resist, so it wouldn't change much. And um, you can see we have a lot of steel resists, right? We're really good against steel. We're really good against grass types. We got ice, we got flying, we got fire, right? So grass types really don't threaten us too much. Um, maybe something for normal types, right? Maybe a fighting type. Um, we have two special attackers, three physical attacker, so we want to add maybe a special attacker to the team. We could do something like Rotom, uh, honestly. Maybe Rotom Mo, or... No, that's uh, shared typing with Manectric and Tangrowth, so maybe... Let's see what else we got. Heatran is good. Um, honestly, Latios. Latios makes a lot of sense. Just because with uh, with Latios, you have the ground immunity, right? So let's plug it in so you can kind of see what happens when we get that Pokemon added to the team. Okay, there we go. So, uh, unfortunately we have three weaknesses to ice, so that's a little bit glaring. And uh, we have a ton of fire, water, electric, grass resists, and a bunch of steel resists as well, so... Um, overall, the team looks pretty good. Um, offensively, we're kind of weak, or, or defensively, we're weak to ice, right? The Latios, the Togekiss, and the Tangrowth all take really bad damage from ice. So maybe we can swap out Latios for something else. And this is what I mean about this, right? It'll show you, like, very evident weaknesses that your team, or very big holes that your team is going to have. And you can really just swap out Pokemon until you find the right fit. You also want to keep in mind, you know, balancing out your team uh, with physical and special attackers. Um, a fast special attacker. Uh, Porygon Z, actually, gives us a ghost uh, immunity. And then it, it can also just a nasty plot and run away with games, right? So Porygon Z. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So we get a ghost immunity right over here. We have a bunch of dragon immunities. 
ground immunity, electric immunity. So um, overall, the team looks really solid, actually. Um, you have physical threats with Ralligator, with the Arcanine, and then you have special threats with like Porygon Z, setting up Nasty Plot. You can set up Dragon Dance with Ralligator. You can uh, crit stuff with Togekiss, right? Scope Lens, Super Luck. Obviously, it just ignores all those stat debuffs and everything. Um, <clears throat> for Trick Room, honestly, we probably need Taunt for like Trick Room and stuff like that. Um, or you know what? No, we can actually bring Tangrowth and just put stuff to sleep, and that could be a really good answer to like uh, Pokemon that want to set up stuff like Trick Room or set up their own like boosts and stuff like uh, Dragon Dance and, and such, right? So. Um, and then Porygon Z can just really just nuke stuff with Hyper Beam, um, adaptability, boosting um, stab moves from 1.5 to 2.0 is actually really, really insane. So you can run Tri-Attack and there's some RNG involved where you can get some freezes, um, some burns, or some paralysis, which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the team. Uh, it looks pretty solid. I'm actually going to make this team and uh, through the magic of editing we'll be able to jump right into like a battle with it just so I can show you how the team works in the battle tower and all that good stuff. Okay. Alright guys, here we go. So here's the team. Gone ahead and made it and uh, we're going to go ahead and test it out and see how it functions. Uh, you'll notice one thing's a little bit different. We've swapped out the Porygon Z for Tyranitar because we were struggling a little bit in testing against things like Cresselia, Dusnoir, things that like to set up Trick Room, and Tyranitar is fantastic at breaking those type of Pokemon. So, uh, let's go ahead and lead with the traditional idea behind the team, which is going to be Manectric for Alligator, and then we can bring some Intimidate in the back, and Tangrowth. Alright. Let's go ahead and see how this team does. Hopefully, I mean, <laughs> in theory, on paper, it sounded really good, so we'll see. I just really like the idea of Sheer Force for Alligator. Just doing a lot of work through the uh, Life Orb. You don't take any recoil damage, so all that is really, really cool. As well as fantastic coverage, right? So... <clears throat> okay. Okay, so it's an Ursa Ring and a Porygon too, huh? Interesting. Potential Thunderbolts from Porygon. Something to consider. As well as Elemental Punches from Ursa Ring. So, in this position, I think we're pretty comfortable just snarling and dragon dancing. Good damage, actually. That's that's sizable damage from a snarl. It's pretty impressive from an electric. Okay, get the dragon dance off. Really good. Facade, ooh. Is that flame orb? Try attack. Oh, they're doubling down on the for alligator. Okay, there's the Flame Orb on the Ursa Ring. Kind of scary, right? Um, I think we can Volt Switch here. And Protect, right? Yeah, I think we're going to have to. And we'll Volt Switch back out into Arcanine. Which is really, really good into the Ursa Ring with Intimidate, right? So, okay. We'll go ahead and Protect with Alligator. Good damage. That's definitely in KO range next turn. Because of the flame damage that's gonna take. Or the burn damage. Drop an Intimidate. There's the facade into the Feraligator. Perfect. Try attack. Into the Arcanine. And the cool thing about this is we can Snarl again. Honestly though, I think I'd rather just Flare Blitz into the Ursa Ring. 
and Waterfall into the Porygon. This should be a double knockout. Especially because Porygon 2, there is no Eviolite. Wow, that's tanky. It still lived. Even without Eviolite, it's so tanky. It's crazy. I should have doubled down into the Porygon 2, huh? Try attack into the... Okay. Into the Arcanine. We got lucky there. Articuno. Bro, this battle tower is so insane. They're just like really, really strong Pokemon all the time. Uh, I think we... I don't think we outspeed Articuno. We outspeed with for Alligator for sure after the Dragon Dance. So I think we Flare Blitz and Protect, right? Yeah. Because Articuno doesn't really threaten the Arcanine. Right? Oh, we outspeed. So it's not timid. And then that puts us in berry range. Perfect. Ice Beam into the Gator. And now try attack into the Gator. The double up. Let's go. Okay. I think we can Snarl here. And then Waterfall the Porygon too. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't have Snarled. I should have just Flare Blitzed into the Articuno. Because Snarl can miss here, right? There it is. Came back to bite me. Yeah, all these little decisions are going to matter a lot in the long run for the Battle Tower, so you got to be careful with those little things. But we are pretty much, like, super ahead, so it doesn't matter, but yeah. Oh, Suicune. Okay. Yeah, so we can Snarl here. And then... I hit, Honestly, I kind of want to double Snarl, but then... Let's just knock out the Articuno with the Flare Blitz, and then I will go ahead and Snarl the Suicune. Okay, Snarl connects on the Articuno, doesn't KO, right? So it's very important that we went for the Flare Blitz there. Very good. Let's go, Arcanine. <laughs> One HP recoil damage. Scald. That's a KO. And perfect, we have Tangrowth in the back, so we're good to go. Power whip time, baby. And this is what I was talking about with, you know, just being a mixed attacker, because if your team is like, let's say Tangrowth here has Giga Drain. Well, that's a wizard. Let's say Tangrowth here has a special attack. Um, Suicune can just set up Calm Mines, especially if it has like a Leftovers or something. It puts us in a very tricky spot, so it's very important that you do that, that you diversify like your physical and special attackers, but we're able to comfortably get the knockout there on the Suicune, and that's pretty much the game. Okay, so as you can see, um, so far really solid team. I mean, it's just the first match of the Battle Tower, right? But we can just kind of expect to kind of, you know, keep practicing, and the Battle Tower is going to throw things that your team is weak to. So it'll be up to you to learn from those things and apply that and fix your team, right? Apply and make changes to your team, right? So, and the, honestly, if you ask me, I think that's a really cool way to make a competitive team. Um, just by like trial and error and paying attention to your team and what it struggles with. Just making an all-rounded well team, you know? So this match, it's uh, against the Polytoad Victory Bell. Polytoad sets the rain. So I guess we can Snarl here. Dragon Dance. Are we in threat of a, like, a Leaf Blade? I think we can Ice Punch the Victory Bell. I think we're faster, right? So let's do that. Oh, and the Snarl misses on the Polytoad. That's really unfortunate. Victory Bell should be a physical attacker, so this might not matter. It is a special attacker. Okay. And it goes into the Manectric, so that's fine. Okay. Clean knockout on the... Oh man, that Snarl would have ensured that Manic Trick lives there. Okay.
that's unfortunate. Okay, we can do Tangrowth here. Because it looks like this is like some sort of like rain team. Oh, Latios, okay. Hmm, okay. I have to skip this song because I might get demonetized. Okay, there we go. Um. Latios. What do we do with Latios? Ice Punch it? Honestly, I can Rage Powder. No, you know what? Just in case it has a Focus Sash, I'm gonna knock off and then protect it. Because even though, like, a combination of, like, an Ice Beam from Politoed and, like, a Dragon Attack from Latios, I should be able to live. And that was a critical hit. Tangrowth is so tanky. Look at that. Knock off. Let's go. Okay. So, actually, I'm okay with switching Arcanine here. Just to drop the Intimidate on the Latios, since it did reveal a physical attack. And then uh, switching into an Ice Beam is actually really good for us, right? So. I just want a Dragon Dance here. This Dragon Dance will really just kind of secure victory for us. Okay, drop an Intimidate. Latios recovers, that's kinda scary. Set up the Dragon Dance. Okay, great. Ice Beam into the Arcanine, fantastic switch. And so there you're seeing the like type diversity that we have with our team, being able to switch in and take attacks for each other, right? That's also very, very important. Uh, so I'm going to protect Darkenine here, and then I'm going to just Ice Punch into the Latios. That should be a clean knockout. We should outspeed. Yeah, for Alligator, it's just an absolute monster. Look at that damage. Wow. One hit knockout. Let's go. So good. And the Surf into the Arcanine. Fantastic protect on our side there. Uh, about a quarter damage of a health bar for for alligator, but now we should be all set here. Now we can just willow us. Honestly, I want to switch out the Arcanine just so that I have the uh, switch in capability, and then I'll just waterfall here. This should be a lot of damage, by the way, because this is going to be a rain boosted waterfall plus one life orb sheer force boost. So this is uh, this is going to hurt <laughs> for sure. Okay, about half damage, not bad. Surf. Again, great switch because we preserve the Intimidate on the Arcanine. And the Tangrowth just kind of takes the damage pretty well. So now I think we can just Waterfall again, right? So it really doesn't matter what we do with Tangrowth. Just to cover for a switch, we can do Sleep Powder here. And then just waterfall again. Oh wait, the rain went away, so we might actually not be able to KO here. We're gonna have to double up with a knockoff and a waterfall. All right, let's go. It might KO, it might be a range, but just in the off chance that it doesn't. Yeah, and it does KO. Very good. And their last Pokemon is a Lantern. Okay, so um, I think Rage Powder, Ice Punch, no, Rage Powder Waterfall? Because this is clearly like an electric move, right? I'm going to protect with for Alligator just to scout a little bit. And then I can Power Whip. You know what? Sleep Powder has a bigger chance to hit. And then I'll protect. And before Ice Beam and just demolish this Tangrowth. We're faster though. Oh, there's the Thunderbolt. Okay. Sleep Powder, connects, let's go. Okay, a Lantern to sleep, and that should be game. So I just Power Whip, and Waterfall. Wow, nice damage. 
These water types, even though they resist, it's just like taking so much damage. Okay, I'm gonna Rage Powder here just in case it wakes up. And Waterfall should pick up the knockout here, so it's fine. Waterfall goes off. Connects, and that's game. So that's the team. Um, we do have multiple, you know, strategies that we can use. We can use Dragon Dance Tyranitar, which also outspeeds a lot of stuff in the metagame currently after a Dragon Dance boost. So, and just uh, demolishes a bunch of Trick Room setters like uh, Cresselia, like Dust Noir, uh, among other Psychic types, right? So, um, just fantastic Pokemon to have on the team. I couldn't really pass it up. Plus, it's one of my favorites. So, <laughs> all right. So that's pretty much uh, how you can build your own team for the Battle Tower. You know, have fun, be creative, use whatever you want, and uh, you can definitely make it work. Uh, especially if you're using these resources and you're, you're balancing out your team like I mentioned. Um, you should have a pretty respectable team for the Battle Tower. So, um, resources are in the links in the description below. Uh, make sure to check those out for the Maryland Team Builder, the Picolytics. Uh, where you can look at the popular sets like uh, EV spreads, um, moves, items on Pokemon, uh, abilities even, so all that good stuff. And uh, the Cerebi website, of course, which you probably, you guys already know. <laughs> it's Cerebi, everybody knows it. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.